Hey everyone! Today I have for you a pretty exciting, um, well not really unboxing because I already opened the box, but, uh, I'll show you how it was packaged and everything. But this was my gift to myself for getting a job, yay me, thing, um, and it just came. And I know I'm a little bit slow in the uptake of this product. It came out last year, but, um, I couldn't really afford it at the time, and now that I'm kind of starting out as a makeup artist, freelance, um, I got myself this. It's the Urban Decay Book of Shadows number four, their 15th anniversary palette. And this is pretty, pretty awesome palette. Um, not just for the products, but for the interactiveness of it. I shall show you. Oh, it came. It's from Outlook, by the way, which is why it's you know, kind of late. <laughs> uh, since they do, like their clear, like the Urban Decay clearance sales, basically, came in this, and it came pretty well packaged. It had two um of those air filled plastic bags, like the packing pillow type things, and not damaged at all, which is great. Has this. I shall just open it up for you. Here's what the top flap looks like. Oh, there's the mirror. Hello. Um, it has these little plastic butterfly decoration thingies. I think they're probably supposed to like pop up when you open it. I'm sure after they're done, like after it like stretches out from being closed in the lid for so long. I'm sure they will. This is just a little uh, card that has scanner, like these things so you can scan your smartphone and it has how-to videos, but unfortunately I don't have a smartphone so that's a little bit unfortunate. And it has this little pocket here. And I have no idea what's that for what that's for. If anybody I'm probably just it's probably going right over my head. It's probably so obvious. Um it has the mirror and then right here. See that? That is the mini speaker that it comes with for your phone or iPod. And then you pull out this tray. Which takes a bit of a muscle. I mean, it's really stuck in there. And there's the palette and products. So here are the cords for your... They have a USB one and just a plain auxiliary cord for your phone or iPod to plug into the speaker. Here's the little speaker. Just like that. Pretty small keychain sized. I uh, haven't tried it out yet, but we'll see how well it works. There is a mini primer potion, and I'm loving that it's in the tube instead of the regular genie bottle type packaging because you'll probably get a lot more product out of this one, and it's way more hygienic and stuff. And then there. Curling mascara. It's called Super Curl Curling Mascara Travel Size. And I have another one of these from the Urban Bride. Oh my goodness. Oh, my laptop is falling. It's just sitting on the arm of the couch. Um, from the Urban Bride collection that I got also from Outlook a while ago. So I'll probably stick this one in my kit. And then... Urban Decay 24-7 Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner, and I've never tried these, so I'm pretty excited about that one. And... Oh! <laughs> Products falling out all over the place. And there are the eyeshadows. A lot of these are new to the Urban Decay line, like, from this palette. Um, which is pretty awesome, because I think... I'm not sure, because I don't have any other uh, books of shadows, but... I think that a lot of the other palettes in Books of Shadows were repeat, um, 
repeat shadows. Uh, one that I'm so sad that I missed out on was the Alice in Wonderland palette, Book of Shadows collection. My goodness, I love Alice in Wonderland. It's probably my favorite story of all time. I love every single version of it that I've ever seen or read. Anyways, sidetracked. I shall get to the... I'll just describe the colors for you because I don't really think you'll be able to see swatches too well. Although the colors are showing up pretty true on here. Which is awesome. I mean, they're showing up a little bit more washed out than I would like them to, but... You know, what are you gonna do? So, Blue Bus is a blue toned um, purple, kind of like an indigo, with a more purple sheen, like a like a pinky purple sheen. And then Gunmetal is a gunmetal gray, a little bit lighter than gunmetal gray, with silver sparkle in it. One thing I don't really like about their ones with sparkles in it is the sparkles tend to fall out. Like, you get sparkle fallout on your face. But if you use a sticky enough base, then it's wor it works for you. Um, then Cobra is an olive green, like a dirty khaki olive green. Um, ooh. <laughs> My laptop just doesn't want to stay right here. Anyways, it shows up almost black but with like that olive green sheen and a little little tiny bit of micro sparkle but not the sparkle that gets fallout and then baked i think i have this one in their summer loving palette i don't know it's just a coppery gold like a like an old gold kind of and that one's a frost finish and then bender is I can't shut everything's backwards on here so bender right there it's kind of like a forest green with a little bit of um yeah yeah forest green <laughs> and gravity I love this one it is a like a like a purple purple like, it's a true dark purple with some uh, lighter purple sheen and some little, a little bit of micro sparkle, like um, a silver micro sparkle. And then Lost right there. It's a medium toned taupe brown and it's one's not super frosty, but frosty enough that there's a sheen. And on your skin, it kind of shows up a bit warmer, like a bit redder. Hijack. I think this one might be my favorite. It's very unique. Hijack right there. This one is super, super, super frosty. And it's like a... Hmm. It's one of those weird colors. It's hard to describe. It is quite... Wow, that's the color. It's silence. Yep, that's the color of silence right there. It's kind of like a dusty turquoise. I apologize for my dirty hair. It's gross. Don't pay attention to it. Um, I just got back from, well, just got here, really. Got into my hometown <clears throat> from traveling and just opened the package right away. So, on to the next. Midnight Cowgirl. This one is a light gold with that uh, silver sparkle, like the bigger sparkle that sometimes has fallout. It's pretty sheer on, but it would be like a super nice highlight, I think. Uh, Sin. This one is kind of a rosy, a rosy taupe, kind of light and super frosty. Um... Shows up more rosy on your skin. Midnight Rodeo. This one is kind of like Lost, like that taupey middle, middle tone brown. Uh, with that silver sparkle, like that bigger silver sparkle. Crystal. This is another pretty unique one. It's like a dusty baby blue with kind of a more turquoise 
sheen to it and a little bit of sparkle. Bust. Right there. I am running out of fingers. Swatch on. This one's weird. Um, it's kind of like light mud. It's like a mm, little bit of a mauvey mud, but not, not very much. It's not very detectable. Uh, missionary. That one. This one is kind of like a lighter version of Sin, but with, with less rose. It's kind of more of a grayed out taupe, but it's pretty light. Skimp. Yeah, my camera's not picking up the lighter shades as well as the darker shades. This one is the most matte out of all of them, but it's still still frosty. It's like a it's like a flesh tone, like a really light flesh tone. And then Zephyr is the lightest and very frosty. Um very smooth. The texture of that one's really nice. It's basically a cream color, like a light cream frost. So that's those. Let's hold it up so you can read them. I know my camera doesn't focus very well when it's close. Doo -doo -doo. Oh my goodness. So my favorites are probably Blue Bus, uh, Hijack, over there and I don't know I think skimp would be really really nice as a highlight so that's that and um yeah I'm really excited to play around with this one and also I'm like I said I'm starting out in my uh, makeup artistry freelance so if anybody in the north ish of Toronto area um, knows somebody who needs their makeup done or is having a wedding or something um, let me know and I'll put my email in the in the doobly-doo and you can email me there but I'll probably be changing that email to a more professional one soon once I you know get my client base up a little bit um, so yeah I shall talk to you guys later Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.